What's up everyone, Silver here, and welcome to the second part of my secret hidden legendary Pokemon showcase special thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to be heading to Rhyperior's Bumper Burn. Urf, do you want to play with me here, or do you dare to play Rhyperior's Bumper Burn? You need 20 berries. Let's rise above your fear! Approach and begin. That's going in a song, dude. <laughs> that sounds like a freaking song thing. Okay. So we can see that our special Pokemon here is Heatran. Bonus 70,000. So we've done everyone except for. Or we've done. We haven't. We need to do everyone except for Flareon. So yeah. Um, so let's just compare 50,000 to 70,000. So yeah. Um, we'll just see how this goes and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so now we're going to try out Rhyperior on its own attraction. That's kind of cheating, but this is the last one before we be before we unlock Heatran. So I figured I'd I'd cover Rhyperior, and I actually can't use the uh, the Xbox controller because if you remember when I played this for the first time, I could barely move side to side. But I I I'm using the keyboard this time, and using the keyboard I can manage to move side to side. And I think it's because when you press um side and up and down at the same time um everything just kind of go like it kind of like goes like this it's weird but yeah um so i'm using my keyboard now and it works just fine so yeah by the time you get to uh if you have full control anyways uh, by the time you get to uh torterra it's pretty good because tort because um a lot of the times once you get there, a lot of them have like this earthquake power move that is super good. It's super good. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> it's 50,000. Yeah, this game is really like luck based, honestly. It's weird. But I'll see what I can do here. Come on. Alright, I'm there. That was fun. Good game. But I got it. Blech. There, I'm at the top possible score. <laughs> See, it's, like I said, this game is just based on, like, a boatload of crap, really. I mean, it's... You saw last time I got up to, what, 24,000, and this time I got, over, I got like, twice the, the score that I needed. So, now we're gonna go ahead and play as Heatran. Um, he legendary here, so let's go ahead and do it. Do it, dude. I gotta turn my light on, it's getting dark. Anyways, we'll finish this off, and hopefully, he tran. I can get his bonus, which is at 70,000. It's freaking insane. Oh, he's very versatile. I can, I can, I can get used to this. Yeah, he's super good. It's, it's crazy because he's fast. Rhyperior was not fast. Heatran is fast, and he has good controls, and he's, like, super powerful. That's a good move, too, the explosion move. Um, usually only Baltoy and Clayton all have that, but I guess Heatran also has it, which is super good. Ugh. Almost there. Need a thousand more. Die. There we go. He's... I got it. Ugh. There, I got it. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> so yeah, you can just see the level of like, everyone, like the secret legendaries are above the, the regular Pokemon. It's kind of insane. So yeah, I had no trouble at all with that. So I'm going to go on to the, the next attraction. All right, here we are, Blaze again. We're here to play his attraction, the Boulder Bash. Came looking for me again. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna use 20 berries, and we're gonna, we're gonna, Blaze again. We're gonna get this right. So we're gonna play Boulder Bash, and as you can see, our bonus here is, and our bonus legendary is Groudon. So we're going to play through everyone, and then I'll show off Blaziken. I might show off uh, Garchomp too, because I like Garchomp, and we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll. We'll see what Groudon's all about. So yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, my right, fan off. Uh, now we're gonna go on to Garchomp, whose bonus is twenty-eight thousand. I just figured I wanna um, show off these last couple. Um, now the way this works is that when you start off in the beginning, 
Um, you're most likely, even if you time it perfectly, you're most likely going to get a score of 100 every time. And as the boulders, the, you know, the number of boulders go up and your combo goes up, you get um, that number times two. So as you can see, I'm actually going to restart this. Um, just because uh, I think Garchomp can do better. I'm just kind of talking, so I wasn't as concentrating as hard. But, um, you can still get 300 as, as the lower Pokemon, but it's a lot harder because you have to time it perfectly. But as you get into the higher Pokemon, it's a lot easier to score 300s constantly. So, um, so I think for Groudon to get 40,000, you're going to have to get a 300 every single strike, which is going to be not too hard. Might get it here. get this last one there it is yeah you're just gonna barely get it um like just barely so um so yeah i i'm actually bad sorry that i had to restart there but i actually just wanted to um just show that off so now that i've done garchomp we're gonna go ahead and do blaziken and then we'll do groudon and I want I want to pay. I just want to notice this nice attention to detail. And at least when Blaziken's up, there's no other Blaziken on the other side, so that's good. Because some games would do that. It just makes me sad. Did I just do that? I wanted to swing early, but not that early. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Hopefully with Grout, I don't have to restart. Yeah, it's actually like, you, like, instinct tells me to swing way early, but you actually don't want to do that. It's like, you want to wait, like, actually until it's pretty close to you, because the controls are actually pretty responsive. So, um, like, wait, if you just wait till it's closer to you, you're actually better off. But those fast ones definitely swing just a bit early, because... You can spare some time on those. So I just wanted to appreciate that attention to detail that there's no other Blaziken on the other side still. So now Groudon can play, and we're going to go ahead and show him off. Um, although I basically already showed off Groudon, but, you know, this is because that's all you're supposed to do. But he is pretty giant. So that is, that is some good, good stuff. So I like how no one cares that there's just a Groudon here playing your attraction. No one cares at all. Alright, let's do this thing. Ooh, Dude, he swings so majestically. It kind of makes me sad that there was no Kyogre in this game. But that's okay. Ooh, I feel like Groudon should be bigger than this, but whatever. Smack! Ooh! Yeah! 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 I did it. He just he just roars at the camera. Fantastic. Good for you, Groudon. Good for you. So now we're going to go on to the haunted zone to their attractions. Alright, so as you can see here are uh, our hidden Pokemon is Celebi, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, and we're gonna we're gonna unlock Celebi. So there's a good amount of Pokemon here, um, but luckily the bonuses are pretty short, so I should be able to do this pretty fast. Um, so yeah, I'll see you when I unlock Celebi. I'll show off Lucario too. Okay, now we're gonna show off Lucario. I've kind of gotten used to this whole thing now. I'm actually really good at this game now. Um, but yeah, these uh, bonuses are absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand how they expect us to go that slow. It's insane. Crap! Okay, let me just... Let me just retry. I mean, I obviously could make it, but I want to I wanna do this in one shot. I've been doing this a lot, like, just falling just randomly but just because i'm trying to go faster and it's just not working so there's thicks 31 um so yeah i got i think under 20 seconds below the bonus yeah so it's just crazy insane how that is it's um it's it's ridiculous how slow they think that we go on this attraction it's weird but now we're going to go ahead and play a celebi whose bonus is still 19 seconds which is incredibly slow <laughs> 
So, um, we're just gonna see how good she really is. Oh, wow. She has a nice launch. Whoa! Okay. I think that's still not even faster than I did Riolu's. Actually, it might be. I don't know. But I did Riolu's really fast. I'm sad I actually didn't get that on recording, because I was perfect. It was perfect. Um, but it was amazing. So I got Celebi's bonus um, about 15 seconds below it, as a matter of fact. So now we're going to go ahead and go to Dusk Noir's attraction. The Speed Slam. Dusk Noir. Alright, here we are at Dusk Noir's attraction. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to try it. Come on this way. Okay. Um, we're going to come right this way. And we can see here that Darkrai is our special for this one and yeah so we're going to unlock dark ride by beating it with everyone so i'm going to show off gengar and then i'll show off dark ride once i get there so yeah see you guys in just a moment all right so here we are at gengar the final pokemon before we unlock dark ride and uh, i actually didn't see him i don't even know if i remember him racing last time so but yeah, as some of the Pokemon, I never actually got to show this, but some of the Pokemon, I guess Gengar does it too, um, they go right through the, um, the barriers. So, and by the time you get to some of the higher level Pokemon, um, there are actually, um, there are actually more barriers than there were, um, in the lower levels. So, yeah. So now Darkrai can play, and yeah, so I was actually glad I got to show that off with Gengar. Um, you went right through the barriers, which is pretty cool, but they go a lot slower than everyone else does. So let's go ahead and play as Darkrai. Darkrai is probably one of my favorite legendaries. He's so cool. I love him. He's awesome. So let's let's do this thing. So yeah, Darkrai, as you can see, is really fast, and our bonus is 8 seconds here, so we're going to have to go really fast here. Boom. Cool. We got it. Oh, he's so awesome. I love it. This design is just so freaking mysterious and weird. It's awesome. I love it. So we're done with that attraction, and now we're off to Rotom's. This is sweet, dude. Thank you for coming again. I'm so happy. Give me 30 bears. You can play Rotom Spooky. Shoot him up. Let's get started. All right, so here we are, at Rotom's attraction. As you can see, uh, ironically enough, Rotom is our hidden Pokemon here. So I'll show off Porygon Z once I get there. Um, so, but yeah, this is going to take quite a bit because um, you know some of these bonuses are rather crude, but. Um, well, not really crude, but just like in the fact of how long it takes to do this. So, yeah. I will be right back. Okay, so here I am at Porygon. And some worthy checkpoints to note is that from Magnemite all the way to Baltoy, um, both Ghastly, all, well, all of the Pokemon, Rotom, Ghastly, and Haunter, take two shots to kill. Um, once you get to Mr. Mime, Ghastly is only one shot. Um, by the time you get to Abra, Rotom is only one shot. And by the time you get to Miss Magius, Haunter is one shot. So, up until then, all those other Pokemon are two shot kills. So, um, Magmortar was trippy because he's like the only one that's not. He's got like a weird fire, sh like flamethrower. And it didn't kill Haunter in one shot all the time. And I think it's weird about Magmortar because I think the farther they are away from you, um, the, the more effective his flamethrower is because, like, it generates more fire that way. But anyways, I'm just giving you some tips. We're gonna go on to Porygon Z. Um, you'll notice some definite growth in the, um, in the pointer as you go along as well. It's pretty nice. But, um, so we got 11,000 here, and I want to show off the pattern, um, before we get to Rotom because Rotom is going to take a while. So I've kind of, like, when you play this for a while... Um, like, by, 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 like, I hit Electivire, I didn't, I didn't even need to look at the, um, the screen really anymore, because I can just look at the mini-map and see where they're coming from, and, uh, you can't see it right now, but I'm just staring at the mini-map, 
It's kind of sad, but that's what happens when you play this game too much. Pop, and they come from over here, and also you memorize their patterns. It's really weird, but yeah. And then they come from over here. See, it's definitely important by this time to be able to look at the mini map because, especially by this time, if you look at the mini map right now, you can see that there's a dude coming from over here. You need to be wary of that guy. Bop and bop, bop, and there's gonna be a weird thing right here. I knew that was coming. Bop. All right, that's eleven thousand. Bop, bop. Let's get a little extra. I'm an overachiever, and then let them kill me. Uh. All right, so I did Horion Z eleven thousand. So yeah, you, you, I can see that you pretty much memorize the patterns as you, as you go along. It's kind of insane, but it's what happens when you play this game for freaking ever. So let's go ahead and play as Rotom. We'll see just how long this takes. So if his bonus is over twice as much as, as Porygon Z's, we're going to have to see some serious... Oh, that's nice. Well, that's good. Okay. Pop. <laughs> I can't look at the mini-map too much, because, you know, I can't see where they are or anything. Like, well, I can't see exactly where they are. I've done pretty good at that so far, but... Die. Pop. Pop. And the end... You know the end of a session is coming, by the way, when you see a Rotom. So that's, like, kind of marks the end of that wave, if you will. It's kind of it's kind of weird way to put it, but as a, you see a Rotom, that wave sort of ends, and um, you get a new one. So it's just something to note. Pop, 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 pop. pop. All right, where are they coming from? I I, I don't know what passed here, so I don't know what passed here. So it's see what I can do. Pop. So, even if they even if they get to you, you have a little time before you're actually dead. So, just a cool thing to note. Got here. No, 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 no. There's a rapid fire here. Yeah, I see you coming this way. Not today. Nope. Nope. Rotom. Shoot it. Pop. Okay. Haunters coming at rapid speed. Whoo! I was close. Oh, I beat it. Okay, I'm done. That actually wasn't too long. Whoo! That takes some serious concentration, though, for real. Okay, well, I did it. Showed off Rotom. So we're gonna go ahead and do a nice quit. Now we've done everyone. That was cool. That was satisfying. Thanks for coming. Bye for now. Guys, I really dig this music. It's sweet. It's like still got the haunted feel to it, but it's got like Rotom's nice, like sort of funky electric style. It's, it's awesome. I like it. Alright, what is it to you want to play the attraction? I'll have to ask for 40 berries if you want to play Assault Assault Then let's begin. Come this way. Okay! So let's, let's, uh, let's do this thing. So as you can see, Shaman is our hidden Pokemon here, so I will show off Absol once I get there. And, uh, yeah. But for now, we're going to jump some serious hurdles. So, yeah. Be right back. So, if you didn't have enough berries already, this one gives you freaking 300 berries for every single bonus. So, yeah. So, now we're going to go on to Absol. And Absol. I was going to Absol because that's how he says it, but, like, everyone calls him Absol. I'm like, why? But anyways, there's no shame in here yet, so we get to show off what she does when she goes, so. Uh, by the way, when you get to some of the faster Pokemon, you can literally just spam A. Or, shit. <laughs> I mean, um, you can literally just, uh, spam. I think I missed the bonus. Oh, no, I did it. Um, but as you get to some of the faster Pokemon, um, like, not as fast as Absol, apparently. He's apparently too fast. Um, you can just spam A, and you'll make it o over everything. So, let's go ahead and pick Shaman. I forget what her bonus is, but we're about to see again. 11 seconds. Okay, I can make that. 
I think. What do you think? So, yeah, Shaman would be lame, so she turns into Sky Form before she does it. Let me just retry that. I'm not going to make the bonus anymore. Um, okay, so I lied. You can't just spam A. It's a little bit more precise than that. I think it's just like, because that's what I did with Lucario, and I made it through the whole thing. So, that's why I was like, oh, I could just spam A, and then I'll win. There we go. I'm in, dude. I'm in. I'm in the clear. Yeah. There it is. Awesome. So now, we're off to Latios' attraction. To s Did I just say Latios' attraction? <laughs> I wouldn't be lying. Um, Salamence's attraction. Absolutely. To, um, be sure to return. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. You were fantastic! Will you play Salamence's air race? You'll have to give me 40 batteries. Okay, come this way. Let's get started. Alright, so here we are at Salamence's ace. And as you can see, Latios is our, uh, is our prime candidate for best player here. So, I'm going to show off Salamence once I get there. But for now, I'm going to show off Pikachu with his balloons on this attraction. So let's go ahead and see what I got. Hopefully my controls are configured correctly. Anyways, um, let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Alright, so press A here to get the targets. So this is pretty darn simple. Pikachu is actually pretty good on this one. He's tolerable. Unlike the last one, where his controls were just complete booty cheeks, these are actually decent, so I can, I can tolerate these ones. Like, it's enough to get you where you need to go, at least. Like, I forget what his bonus was. I think it's 5,000. I don't know there. Yeah, I just beat it. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, once we get to Latios, and as you saw with Charizard, um, their controls were simply just better overall. And uh, that's where we'll get to with uh, Latios once we get there, so... But Pikachu is definitely way better than he was in Pelipper's attraction, so... Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, do everyone else, and I'll see you when I get to Salamence. Alright, so here we are at Salamence, the final Pokemon before I unlock. Probably another one of my favorite legendaries, Latios. So we're gonna go ahead and use Salamence. Now, one thing to note is that... Um, as you go along, the, um... The attacks actually um, go through more of the uh, of the targets at the same time. So, like you see here, there was two of them right uh, back to back. Um, as you get uh, into the higher level Pokemon, um, they actually start to go through more than just one at the same time, which is super useful. So um, that gets you a ton of points, and that's really where most of your points come from um, once you get to the later things, because usually um, at the lower levels. Um, the attacks only go through one or two, but now as like as you can see at Salamence, um, it's kind of spastic, um, and I'm sorry if you like, I don't know if this is kind of disorienting, but it's um, it's just like I think I'm gonna miss. Wait, no, no, I think I made it. I think did I make it? Yeah, I made it. I was like, I thought my bonus was 25, but that's that's Latios. Okay, so let's go play Latios and. Uh, another one of my favorite legendaries, which is Sweetness. So, yeah. Kind of fat. Got a, got, a, got a beer belly. But anyways. Let's see what you got, Latios. Holy crap. He is extremely spastic. Okay. This is incredible. It's incredible how spastic he is. It's kind of like Latias. Uh, except, actually... Um, you saw with Pikachu that the, the Pokemon's controls here are even crazier. You have to be even more agile, and Latios is just that, more agile. And it's crazy because, like you can see there, I was doing absolutely nothing, and he was still, like, moving to the left there. Oh, I'm easily going to make 25. This is really simple as balls. But yeah, as, especially as you get to the higher levels, you pretty much want to spam A the whole time. And I know that sounds pretty bad, but there we go, I made it. Just barely, but I made it. 
All right, cool. So we can go ahead and quit and head to the final, the final attraction. Come back whenever you like. I, I sure will. Sure will, dude. Come here again. Do you want to play Requazos Balloon Panic? I'll ask for 40 berries, so will you or won't you? Let's start, follow me. Score high. Alright, so here we are. At, at, uh, Requazos Attraction, the final one. Um, so, since I've already played as Lucario, we're going to show off Glaceon one last time, because she's cute and adorable. And we'll show off her bonus, and then... We'll hit up our final secret Pokemon, Deoxys. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, here we are at, at Glaceon. I've been wrecking house. I've been wrecking house on this attraction, dude. Um, but anyways, we are going to play as Glaceon one last time before we show off Deoxys. So we're going to go ahead and see what Glaceon has got. Um, I feel kind of bad about this, but, you know, after playing it for so long, I've kind of memorized, and whenever Rayquaza comes around, I can, like, tell. Like, oh, here he comes, like, right now. But anyway, some things to note about this is that, um, there are some pretty peculiar Pokémon that can play this one. Um, as in, I'm talking Mamoswine and Rhyperior specifically. Um, by the way, I think they're hilarious. Um, <laughs> I think it's so funny. Um... But, like, Mamoswine and Rhyperior are not when to run at all. So, this first part of the attraction, where you where you run, they absolutely suck at. But Mamoswine and Rhyperior are pretty decent at this shooting part. So, um, that's some things to note, but most of the other Pokemon is, uh, are fairly solid. There he is right now. Um, uh, here he comes right about now. Um, so, but most of the other Pokemon are fairly solid. I think their goal with this one was to, uh, was to make a pretty, ah, oh, shoot, a pretty wide range of Pokemon that can play this one, so you can, like, this is the last attraction, so you can always play, like, your favorites on this one, so, I think that's pretty cool, respectable, way to go out, and, uh, yeah, we like that, so, awesome, my cute and adorable Glaceon wrecked some freaking house, you did good, Glaceon, I'm proud of you, you weren't so darn cute, I would yell at you, aww, he's cute, all right, let's play as Deoxys, the final hidden Pokemon, and my final friend. You're the final friend, dude. How do you feel? How do you feel right now? Anyways, uh, Deoxys is so mysterious. Let's do it, dude. Here I come. Do 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 do. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. He turns so well. It's just like the other hidden Pokemon's like this. Uh, hidden Pokemon like this. They respond, like, to everything you do, and it's completely insane. Crap. Jump here. Um, so, oh, well, I forgot to mention, um, like I said, Mamoswine and Rhyperior, they suck at running, but, and therefore, they can't really jump over those, uh, Electrode either, which kind of sucks, but it's okay, because, oh, Deoxys flies. I forget, so I don't even have to worry about that stupid, uh, thing. Give me that. Thank you. Alright, I think uh, that's the this is the highest I've ever started, and we're about to wreck some house. Holy crap. Okay. This music is awesome. I love this music. It never gets old. So good. Here it comes. Bop, bop. Crap. Here he comes right about now. There he is. Hello, friend. Right about now. There he is. Hi. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, I missed that. Right about now. There he is. Hi, friend. Bop. Dang it. Oh, no. Wait, I got it. Okay. Woo! <gasps> I thought that was the game glitching for a second, but that's Deoxys' noise. Oh, man. Okay. Cool. So, if you weren't already full on berries, these, these attractions give you 300 for every bonus. So... That's completely insane, but you can only get 9,999 berries. Come back again, I'm always here. Yes, in fact, you are. That wasn't the button I wanted to press, but okay. Um, I don't know my Poke Park preset, but anyways. Okay, so now, 
that's it. So in this episode, I was just going to show off, and the next episode will be a really quick one, um, where I show off all of the overworld locations for some of the legendary Pokemon, and I battle them and chase them and stuff like that. But as you can see, our friend list is now filled to the brim with everyone. So, I could go back and make everyone uh, best friends, which, well, it would take a while and seems kind of dumb. But one thing I do want to do is this guy right here. So, I'll, I have one more episode. I have a couple more episodes planned for after this one. So, this should be a Monday episode. And uh, the Wednesday episode should be of the Overworld Pokemon, um, Darkrai, Celebi, Jirachi, and uh, Groudon. So, um, yeah, but for now, um, I think, and I think the Friday episode, the finale, not really the finale, but, like, the last episode will be a Mew rematch, as well as some highlights of this playthrough, so, um, that's what I'm thinking of doing, so, yeah, um, and which I will, and which, what I will probably do anyways, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, um, uh, my, sort of my guide to unlock everyone. Um, make everyone your friend and get all the cool secret Pokemon that are freaking bosses at the attractions. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>